All right, so when I designed it, the main things I had to consider were what I wanted to put underneath it and the height of the chair I wanted it to meet up to. And so I knew I had this toolbox that I keep my paints in for all my carving. So I measured that. And then with the extra space I used to make just a very simple drawer that slides in. Um, if you use some wax, it'll work better than mine. Um, and then I did real simple toolbox locks on these so that the top can then be removed, lifted off to dump your shavings in the trash once it gets too full. Um, so basically once I designed the, the base with, to house the toolbox, then I measured from that to the height of my chair and I put, I just cut this very simple angled tongue that kind of goes down and just drops off just the ramp to get down in there um, you can make that as long or as steep or whatever you need to to get to your what you're working with and then uh, over time I added this shelf to hold at the time a very little box which is sort of grown into this freestanding box which I actually made to fit on the shelf um, that's a whole nother project so but yeah you could lay your knives up here your chisels whatever you could do the magnet strip like I did I've got this little thing for my strop that goes right there um, the handles are just some 2 by 4 I cut a channel out of screwed in on both sides to pick it up oh yeah and then I mounted uh, furniture sliders uh, the plastic furniture sliders to the bottom so it makes it real easy to slide if you if you're on carpet if you're on hardwood I just use felt um, same thing and uh, I did I think I made it all out of three-quarter plywood I just had some three-quarter birch and then the drawer and this little thing are some half-inch ply um, I, I kind of overkill everything, so I did three quarter. If you can get away with lighter wood, it'll be easier to slide around. And then I didn't do any fancy joinery. It's all just butt joints glued and then used a brad gun to stick it all together. That's it.